going out. We had leftover food, and we just it turns up right now. And so we just had leftover food, and we're gonna go see if we can find some people and give it out. <laughs> In Springfield, Missouri, we put together an event we called The Encounter, a time and space where people of all ages and backgrounds could come and have an encounter with God to radically change their lives. What's the gospel? Can I ask you real quick? The gospel. You want the gospel, Mark 1. We have a king. He has a kingdom. We're bringing that kingdom back to earth now. That's the gospel. God has brought you here for a purpose, both a parent as well as a racer. Uh, and thank you so much for your commitment to this very challenging but very, very important ministry. If we change our narrative from not enough to more and more. We worship God together. We prayed and shared the gospel together. And we learned more about how God wants us to love together. I think oftentimes when we pit ourselves and we say, this is my side, this is their side, God, which side are you on? He's looking at us going, no, no. You're kind of right, they're kind of right, both are wrong. And that's one of the most humbling things. We saw chains break and hearts restored. As I reflect on all that happened at the encounter, I can't help but think of how God is moving in people's hearts right now as we get to see revival happening across the country. God is still moving and changing lives.